Welcome to U.S. Classic Muscle Cars. Hi, my name is Scott Sparakis. I'm the owner of this 69 Dodge Charger Daytona. I've had it for almost 20 years. It's been in restoration for the last 13. And after it came out of the painters two years ago, I gave it to my good friend Todd Carlson and he put it back together and this is why it looks so beautiful. So I'm gonna hand the mic over to Todd and he can tell everybody what he did. All right, what we started with, when we came back from the paint shop, was just a painted shell. Uh, 50 million boxes of parts we had to work with. Uh, the hardest part was finding the red interior. I think there was only three total made with the red interior, but this is the only four speed that was ever built. Wow. Just lots of hours, lots of time sandblasting, lots of time detailing the finer parts. How many hours do you think you put into it? Uh, probably about a thousand. Wow. Took over just over 11 months, I think, to finish. We still have little details we have to finish on it and find some real super hard to find parts. So, it's a 440, uh -huh. four speed. Factory. The, uh, sweet. Sweet. It's hard to find the numbers matching parts. And, okay. Because it's the more close we get to original, the higher the value. Right, sure, <laughs> sure. right, right. right. That is nice, that is nice. And then the, uh, how many uh, miles on the, uh, the inch? The car's got 53,000 miles on it. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. That is nice, that is nice. Yeah, we just freshened up the motor a little bit, just made sure everything uh, run and work fine. And when did you get uh, done with the project? We had it done for the McCacken Car Show last November. This is really the first full year we've had it out. <laughs> no, not right now. <laughs> so the, uh, now back to the car. <laughs> and then so the, uh, it's got 53,000 miles on right. it. Right. And uh, so how much, how far did you have to take the car down to but when the body shop got, they had to replace the quarter panels on it, the trunk floor, um, and that was about it. And then just get the dents and other things out of it. Stripped it down to bare metal and then repainted it. Many projects of this? Uh, I've taken it on as a hobby. Uh -huh. I've done a couple of Scott's cars. We okay. did a 68. I got a couple cars of my own I do. That was something I was thinking of doing when I retired. It's like it's more of a hobby than anything else. Right. Right. Just enjoy doing it. Was the, uh, the car original with a manual? Yes. Yep. Original manual car, original red interior. Sure. Yeah. So when you drive one of the Hooters girls out of this car show, how can you do steering, the shifter, and I'm good with my feet. Busy person. Right? <laughs> Busy person. What is the? Uh, do you have another project that you're going to be doing? Well, I got two 71 charges I'm working on right now. Oh, really? Wow. One's a Pro Street car that I I've owned since the '70s first car I bought myself. Right, right. And I still have it. The other right. one's a 71 right. SE four-speed yeah, yeah. car. And are these uh, refurbished factory or are these reproduction? Um, things? These rims weren't offered on a Daytona. Uh -huh. They were only offered in 68. Okay. But it offsets the car right, real right. nice. And the radial tires are red lines. Okay. Uh, based off of BF Goodrich casing. Sure. We got those from Cool for Tire. Okay. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Regular bias ply tires, they can't even drive it on the road anymore. They just wander right, all right, over. They waddle all over the place. Yeah. So, why don't we finish up the front? Yeah. 
Thanks for watching. Please, please, please subscribe. We appreciate it.